Welcome to Spotlight on Lakewood. I'm Mayor Adam Paul, and today we're gonna to continue our series on looking at different departments and seeing what really happens behind the scenes at the city of Lakewood. I'm joined by our Community Resource Director, Kit Newland, today. Hi. How are you? Very good. And so for some of you at home, you might know our Community Resources actually would be a Parks and Recs Department in other cities, but our group does much, much more. Tell us what you do. Well, our department is responsible for golf, parks, open space, trails, arts, and cultural activities. And um, we have an administrative di division that oversees uh, fundraising and marketing for us. My goodness, it's quite a department. And as you just heard, it's a lot of the fun things that we really like to do and, and enjoy in the city. Yes, it is. Oh, buildings, I forgot to mention buildings. Oh, buildings. We're responsible for the city buildings. And how many buildings do we have roughly? Well, if you count shelters and that sort of building, 150. If you take out some of those in actual, the real facilities that are used, we're around 50. Yeah, it's quite an inventory. You do mm -hmm. a great job. Thank you. All right, so we're in the middle of updating a community resources master plan. Yes, we are. What is that? Our master plan is a guide that helps take us through the upcoming years. We're hoping this one will be about a five to eight year plan. Okay. The last plan that we completed, we finished in 2008, and we've been working on implementing that plan since that point in time. Okay, so it's always kind of a nice opportunity to recheck with the community. Yes. See if we are missing, if there's service gaps or new things that we need to do or readjust services. Is that what we look for? Yeah, we're looking for, to hear from citizens. This is a huge engagement process for citizens. And we want to hear what are we missing? Um, what are the amenities that you might like to have that we don't already have in the community? So there might be, this is an opportunity for citizens to speak up and tell us about what they'd like. Yeah, that's great. I know you really are getting you really are getting ramped up to to have this out there in the community so it's critical that we get community feedback absolutely that's the most important part we have our website live now it's called lakewood.org slash imagine so everybody can go online and there's a survey there that they can fill out and we are taking that feedback very seriously we'll be looking at that to see you know what are the common themes that we hear from people so when you start to gather that information, will we have open houses and, and opportunities for people to really come together and, and see what, what they're hearing or what we're hearing? Yes, at, uh, we're gonna gather feedback online for a while through March 15th, the survey will be online and then we'll be looking at those results to see kind of what the common themes are and then we'll be taking that information out into the community. We're gonna do focus groups and stakeholder groups and, and public forums so that we can continue to hear from people. And uh, we also have the surveys out um, around at our facilities so they're available in both Spanish and English so we can get feedback that way as well. Even though the survey closes at on March 15th online we're, we're going to continue to update that page the Imagine Lakewood page and we're going to continue to take feedback from people throughout the summer so and we'll just make, make sure it continues to update we'll ask for people we'll ask for all sorts of feedback like what's your favorite park what's your favorite thing to do in Lakewood parks and so um, it's going to be very interactive and yeah. dynamic. That's great, and it kind of becomes a living document, and our yes. current one is online, but would you uh, share with the viewers a couple of the things or a few of the things that came out of that plan? Sure, happy to. We are um, very proud that we were able to complete quite a few of the action, a majority of the action items in the plan. Uh, one of the important items was a natural areas management plan, so it's a really, op a really um, day-to-day -day operational plan for how we care for our open spaces and our trails. In addition to that, we implemented a public art master plan and that's in process now. We're able to get public mm, art out into cool. the, the city, all over the city. Um, we did a tree inventory so we know exactly how many trees we have and what types and what areas of the city and the parks. And uh, we completed Surfside Splash Park. Surfside, that, that's a big one. That's yeah. a fun one and, and one that our little kiddos and families are really enjoying. Yes, very much. Our community is really appreciating that. So, so that goes to show when we're asking for community input or feedback, that's because when we have that, then we can really set our direction yes. and start to achieve things that are important to the community. So please, yes. if you're able, get involved, get online, take part in this, this uh, great opportunity to shape the, the future of your parks. We have yeah. almost 100 parks in the city of Lakewood. Yes, we do, yeah. And we really need citizen feedback for this plan to be successful. Great. Well, thank you, Kit, for all that you do and all that your uh, dedicated staff does day in and day out to uh, make Lakewood one of the best places to live. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thanks for joining. 
And remember, together we'll do great things.